All right, today in my shop, we are doing a symbol modification slash repair. I hesitate to say that there's going to be a repair because technically you can't really repair a symbol. You can only modify it and uh, reduce the number of cracks as possible as the symbol continues to crack. So this is a 18 inch Zildjian A custom crash symbol. And as you can see, I already marked off where all the cracks are going to be in this modification. And you can see where all the cracks are. There's like this little one over here and then one over here. And so part of what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim as little as possible on this. But what I'm doing is that I'm going, I'm going, going up to where the crack is and actually I need to expand that a little bit, but here we go. Okay, so the next part of the process is I'm gonna go ahead and take these clamps and hold the, hold the symbol down on my table. So that way when it comes to modifying it, it doesn't actually move around. And right there is where the crack ends on this one. And I have, like I mentioned previously, I do have the symbol marked on some other places where the cracks are, but since this one is the biggest one, I'm going to go ahead and start on this one first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, make a bit of a bit of a shape so that way when it comes time to do the do the cutting I already know where where I'm going to Maybe by cutting and reshaping. So for this project, I'm going to use a Dremel with a grinder bit, a cutting bit, and a sanding bit. So before we do the actual cutting, wear safety glasses, because when you're doing the cutting, you'd be surprised how many shards of metal will actually get around. And I almost had a little bit of get into my eye a little bit ago. And, you know, thankfully I have my I, I, uh, safety glasses on. So practice safety. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and get this off first. <clears throat> You can find uh, Dremel sets like this from your local hardware store. Uh, this is actually a gift that I got a while back, but retail something like this would cost about, mm, about 30 or 40 bucks. Um, or you can also find it off Amazon for about the same price. And good news is that getting a full Dremel set, it already has everything ready pre-packed in here. Or if you need a different bit somewhere, you, know, you can get them for, for a couple bucks here and there, give and take. And I am prepped and ready to go. So as mentioned, wear your safety glasses. And because you are working on a symbol and these Dremels do have a high uh, rotation rate, take your sweet time doing this. You do not have to rush on this. And you may notice that I've got a light shining on here. And the reason why I do that is so that way I can see see my guidelines as to how far I want my cut to go. So I'm going to do st start with first is I'm going to make a bunch of uh, vertical lines just kind of going all the way up to where my where my marks are. And here we go.
another tip when you're doing this, any shards that fly off on this, it will be hot. So, ooh, hot. Point taken. And here it is, or at least part of it. So the next step is to smooth these edges with a grinding bit. Obviously this one is actually seen better days, but I'm actually gonna use one whenever it comes time to do this. And here we go. And here it is. Overall, I think given just how deep these cracks went, I think the fix actually turned out pretty good. But did you find this video helpful? You want to see more like this? Leave a comment, subscribe, and thanks for watching.